Nothing brings the magic of the big movie theater home quite like surround sound. With objects flying all around you and deep rumbling bass, it's easy to get lost in the movies and TV shows that you watch. The only problem is, surround sound is littered with these terms and numbers that can make shopping for a system confusing. By the end of this video, we want you to have a better understanding of the different surround speaker configurations, audio formats like DTS and Dolby Digital, and how even sound bars can give you surround sound. Most of you are probably familiar with stereo. In home theater, that's where you have a left and right speaker flanking a TV. This would be called a 2.0 system. Surround sound starts when you add in a center channel. With these three speakers, we have a 3.0 system. The center channel is actually the most important speaker in the system because it's gonna do 85% of the work. It handles all of the dialogue. So if you wanna understand what's being said and feel like effects are coming from the center of the screen, the center channel is essential. If you're gonna splurge anywhere, this is it. Next, we have the LFE channel or subwoofer. LFE stands for low frequency effects, and this is where all the rumble and punch of a home theater system comes from. It helps to have a dedicated speaker for bass, especially if you use smaller speakers for all the other channels. In our number diagram, the subwoofer is the second digit. If we have three speakers and one subwoofer, we would have a 3.1 system. Some high-end surround systems can run dual subwoofers for improved bass. With three speakers and two subs, it would be a 3.2 system. Next come the surround speakers. You need at least two of them for a true surround sound system. Adding these two speakers to our diagram makes for a 5.1 system as seen here. The main surround speakers go to the side and just barely behind the main listening area. It's not too common, but some people add two more surround speakers to the back of the room and face them forward toward the TV. If we add these channels, we have a 7.1 system. Now, a 5.1 system is gonna be perfect for the vast majority of surround sound signals that you're gonna get, but there are two new different types of surround sound called Dolby Atmos and DTSX, and these bring in sound from up above you. To get this, you can either mount in-ceiling speakers above the listening area, or you can buy Atmos-enabled speakers like these that project sound up at the ceiling, which is then bounced back down to your ears. You can add up to four channels of Atmos or DTSX, depending on your AV receiver's capability. And in our number diagram, this would be represented by 5.1.4. As you've already heard, when you start talking about surround sound, you invariably run into Dolby and DTS. These are the two companies that make the digital sound signal that goes to your soundbar or AV receiver. Buried in this digital signal is information about which sounds should come from which speakers. It instructs a receiver or soundbar to put the dialogue in the center speaker, a helicopter approaching from the surround speakers, and sends explosive bass to the subwoofer. What you see here is a list of the most popular types of surround sound signals. So why so many of them? Well, as you climb this surround sound signal ladder, sound quality goes up. But a DVD, for instance, can't hold the same premium quality a signal that a Blu-ray can. And streaming services live somewhere in the middle. It all sounds great, but with better equipment comes better sound. And Dolby Atmos and DTSX represent the best surround sound you can get. Now, if you're tight on space or you just want to keep it simple and reduce some clutter, certain soundbars can also do surround sound. Some of them do it virtually. That is, they fake surround sound using special processing to make it seem like sound is coming from the sides and behind you. Others add physical surround speakers, and some even support Dolby Atmos and DTS-X with speakers that fire up at the ceiling. With soundbars, though, the primary three channels, left, right, and center, are always located in the soundbar. If you want the very best surround sound experience you can get, you're gonna to wanna to go with an AV receiver and separate speakers. If you're not up for all those speakers and wiring though, take a look at a soundbar. Some soundbars offer discrete surround sound speakers, while others do it virtually, saving even more space. It all comes down to the kind of sound experience you wanna get and how much room you have to practically work with. I hope that's a big help in your search for your next surround sound system. Thanks for watching and happy listening.